CC Threads is found under the Generate category, and if I apply it to my logo, I'm gonna get some texture and even some transparency showing up on top of it. Now this effect doesn't work too well on my logo alone, but if instead I apply it to this adjustment layer over the entire comp, then you can really see what's happening. It's generating this really nice pattern with shading and even some transparency if I turn on my transparency grid, but it's pretty big right now. So let's take a look at the controls. First we have width and height, and this is for the overall threads pattern. So if I turn this down to 20 and 20, we'll have a much tighter thread count. The next option is overlaps. It's set to three, but if I turn this down, then the threads get tighter and tighter. So with one overlap, this is what the pattern looks like. Or I could go in the other direction and increase this to a higher number and get more of like a chevron pattern. Set that back down to three. We have direction, which just controls the angle. So I could back this up to say negative 45 if I want this to be up and down like that. We have the center property, which is just a point control that just offsets the texture overall. If I zoom in nice and close, there's a coverage property that if I increase up to 100%, basically closes the gap so we don't see those holes through to the background. So it controls the width of every thread, basically. Next up is shadowing, which is just the intensity of the shadows, which really adds a sense of depth to all of this texture. And then finally, the texture property, which is the texture within each thread. So I can make that more intense or less intense. This is a really straightforward effect. That's really all there is to it. It's great for generating this type of pattern and it does it very quickly, but that's all you need to know about CC Threads. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.